It shouldn't be long now. That cloud should do the trick. It's blowing in pretty fast. Is it going to obscure the sun? Yes. Yes, yes it is. But will it be dense enough? Yes, I'm sure it is. We'd better get down. Is he going to put the operation one way or the other? Nice work, Peter. It worked, it worked. Splendid. Here, here, and this. Okay, you two. If you're happy with this detonator, we'll call it a day. We're happy, all right. I can't see the general with any complaints. We're showing the light test. That'll impress him. Get him to pass his hand between the detonator and the uh, source of light, like this. Perfect. If it had been carrying a charge, we'd all be sky high. And what about the technical jargon? It's all there. This is all clever scientific stuff. That's your pigeon, Betty. You're the scientist. But you can't do the talking. You know he's expecting a promotion out of this, don't you, Peter? He wants you and I to do all the work. <laughs> Have you got everything? Uh, yes, I've got your detonator. Instructions for setting light readings the lot. Well, we'll let you know how it goes, Peter. Okay. Well, I'll be getting back to Castle Hill. All right, we'll see you. Goodbye. Good luck. Thanks. Now, let's get the facts right before I see General Martin. This detonator of Brady's is basically a light cell, isn't it? That's correct. And we place it on the top of the general's mine. Yes, well, it's really an electric eye, which is sensitive to the changes in light intensity. The cell is linked to the detonator here, and as soon as there's a change in light, the cell reacts to it. Mm -hmm. That seems to be just what the general ordered. So all you need is a shadow across here, and boof, up you go. But it certainly should give the element of surprise General Martin asked for. And in every other way, it reacts like an ordinary mine. Oh, yes, because it has a trembler fuse as well. Once it's activated, it'll go off when touched or moved. Any sufficient vibration. Good. Well, it seems as though Peter Brady's done the trick, Betty. With a little help from us. You guarantee these reports, Captain Finch? Completely, sir. Mr. Brady and I made a practical test of the detonator. Worked perfectly. Good. It seems to us at the Ministry to have such a limited application, General. When could it be used in warfare? It's exactly what I want, Mr. Lloyd. Something you can chuck out of the back of a tank when you're retreating in a hurry. Why, with this detonator of Brady's, all you've got to do is drop the whole thing behind you, and 20 seconds later, it is live. Even a shadow across it after that, it'll go up. What about clouds across the sun? It's for desert warfare only. But it might blow up at nightfall, mightn't it? In any change of light. That's just what we want. I commanded tanks in Northern Africa. And I can tell you we had as many casualties going over our own minds as ever we had from the enemy. But I don't quite see why this should have to happen. You don't, eh? I'll show you. Yeah, you have it. Second battle of Tobruk. Tobruk, all right? We retreated. Sappers moved in behind us, laid minefields. Scattered the flaming things all over the place. But then we had to advance. Didn't you chart them? Did you ever try charting a minefield when you're under fire and in a hurry, Mr. Lloyd? You don't keep very accurate records. All right, next day we advance again and boom. Up go some of your best boys on your own minds. It's happened time and again. Yes, I quite see your point, General. All right, young Finch, demonstration three o'clock tomorrow, depending on the weather report. I'll see about that now, sir. Good. Any news, Barry? Got Lloyd in there, a ministry man. Mm. Objecting? Niggling. The general just shot him down. Good. So we can go ahead with the demonstration. That's right, Betty. D-Day is tomorrow, if the sun shines bright. Uh, 
Well, the Met boy's got it right for once. Promised us a clear day, and here it is. Well, General, let's get on with it. Where would you like us? Over there, behind the sandbags. See everything in there? Safe as a house. What about the, uh, what about the necessary shadow? Where would you get that from on a day like this? From an aircraft. We've got one standing by. I'll fly over and leave a smoke trail. Would you like to go ahead? Thank you, Mr. Daniels. Sir, now right over this way, please, gentlemen. Over by the sandbags. Thank you. Captain Finch? Going, sir. Well, are you all ready? Yes, sir. We'll get on with it, then. Yes, sir. Sergeant. Everything checked? Captain Clark? Everything's in order, sir. What about a little uh, celebration tonight? Dinner? That'll be fine. Well, good luck, Barry. Watch your shadow. Well, let's get started, Sergeant. All right, Sergeant. Hand me down my baby. Message, sir. Read really, it, will you? Sir. Flight control reporting aircraft Able 7 standing by for takeoff. Awaiting your instructions. Tell them we'll be ready in a couple of minutes. Very good, sir. Well? General Martin? Yep. Captain Finch, sir. Hello? Yes? The mine is now in position, sir. Good. Give me the angle of the sun. The angle of the sun is 51 degrees, sir. 51 degrees. I'm ready to activate the fuse now, sir. Good, go ahead. Right, sir. I will set the fuse exactly 10 seconds after I say now. 20 seconds after that, the mine will be live. Right, O Finch. Now. Mine will be live in 30 seconds. Give me flight control. Yes, sir. I can drill, sir. General Martin here. Instructions to flight Able 7. I say again, Able 7. Take off immediately. Fly over the test area. Carry on, Sergeant. Finch. What's going on? <coughs> Finch! Something's happened to him. can you move? Not very much. Every time I try, more sand slides towards the mine. And anything can set it off now, sir. Can't we dig you out? Not without disturbing the mine, sir. That's our plane. On its way here. Get it diverted at once. Yes, sir. And get an ambulance and have an emergency crew standing by. Sir. Give me flight control, quickly. Flight control, sir. Finch has been trapped next to the bomb. What? It's all right, gentlemen. It's under control. 
I'm the experimental unit calling flight control. Hello? I'm Give me the rescue unit and the ambulance up here. Control. Couldn't we possibly get someone down in there to defuse the mine? I don't think so, sir. What if I crawl in alongside you and lie flat? No, it's impossible to defuse it, sir, without casting a shadow over it. I won't be a minute. Young Finch, I know what I'm doing. Does he have much of a chance? He's got one chance. That's Peter Brady. Doesn't cast a shadow. Oh. Yes. What? Captain Finch? My car's outside. I'm on my way. It'll take me about a quarter of an hour. He's on his way, sir. He says he hopes to be able to make it in about 15 minutes. How long we got, Captain Clark? I'd say about 20 minutes, sir. You come with me. I want you to calculate exactly how long it'll be before that shadow touches the mine. Yes, sir. We have 18 and a half minutes, sir. And we can't rely on Brady. Look, sir, we must take a chance. Now, I know how to do it. Let me try. I'm the only one who's taking chances around here. Now, the moment Brady enters the area. Right, sir. Only nine more minutes, sir. Yes, not a thing we can do till Brady gets here. Right, Brady's just entered the area, sir. Any minute now, young Finch, he's here.
you got a toolkit? Uh, yes, Mr. Brady, I'll, I'll get it. Here, grab this. Thanks. Oh, Peter. Look, the side's fallen in on him. There's very little time. Look at that shadow. Hello, Barry. Hello, Peter. This is a terrible thing to have to ask you, Brady. The whole thing may go up the moment you touch it. But you're the only person who doesn't cast a shadow. I'll take it a bit, all right. But all I've specialized in is my light gadget. Well, I know how the rest of it works. I could take it down and put it together from memory. Uh-huh. I see. It's not going to be easy. It's half covered in sand already. Okay, I'll get down there. Betty, don't come any further round, or you'll throw a shadow. Watch how you go. Don't disturb that sand anymore. Where are you, Brady? Don't worry. I'll be very careful. I'm coming in directly from the sun. Okay, Barry. I'm with you. Well, there's no point in you hanging about here, is there? Over there by the sandbags. Kevin Clark? Come on, out of it. Well, get down. Right, Betty. Just tell me what to do. Can you locate the detonator plunger? Yes, I can see it. Shall I withdraw it? No. Don't touch it. That's the one part you mustn't move. Oh. Uh, where do I start, then? Find the cover plate. Round to the right of the plunger. It has four bolts holding it. I see it. Now it should lift clear very gently. Right. It's coming. I won't be long now, Barry. Try not to move. Listen, Peter. I'm liable to pass out. If I do, I'm going to send more sand down on it. Why don't you get up before we both go up? Don't be silly. You're as strong as a horse. Just stay steady. We'll have you out of here in a minute. Take a look at the shadow. I don't think you've got much more than that. I've got it open. Okay, I'm holding the plate. Now what? Now listen carefully. Get the thin cutters. Lift the top of the plate just enough to get the cutters inside. Feel for two wires in the center and cut them without pulling them. Gently does it. Here goes. I cut one wire, but I can't get a grip on the other one. You must, Peter. Got it. Both wires cut. Now, lift the cover off. Look at that cloud approaching. Peter, look. This is no place to stay. Take it easy, Perry. Everything's going very nicely. It won't budge. Peter, I know this bit. There's a retaining catch at the back. It must be sticking. Feel for it. A rounded projection. Push it away from you. Got it. Look at that. You carry on here. I'll go and try and get our control. Shadow is almost there. Give me command. Command, sir. 
Command, General Martin here. Get through to Air Force Control. There are jet aircraft approaching the Army Experimental Ground. Have them diverted immediately. Message received and understood. Will they get the message? I hope so. You're getting to the last stage now, but it's pretty difficult. First, immobilize the electromagnetic relay. That's the thing on the right. I see it. Get the earthing clamp. Peter, get out of here. Well, Betty, what's next? You have to earth the positive side. That's the red wire. Get the earthing clamp onto it, but don't disturb the point. Thank heaven, they've gone. Now we've only got the mine to deal with. Less than a minute. Have you done that, Peter? Yeah, I've turned it. What now? Now, whatever you do, don't rush this next bit. That big bolt on the left is a fused screw. It carries the spring detonator. And that, I guess, is what we're looking for. It has to be turned clockwise. No, not sorry, anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Five complete turns will unscrew it. Then you have to withdraw it straight, Peter. Dead straight. I should be doing this bit. Hold it steady. If it touches, the trembler can set it off. How do you do it? We're on the last lap now, sir. He's only got a few seconds. I know, General, but we can't rush this. His hands have got to be steady. I'm all right. Two, three, four. Five. Now all you have to do is pull the detonator clear without touching the sides. That's all you've got to do. It's coming. Here we go. That's it. You can relax. It's all right, sir. I feel fine. You do? Really, sir. Well, good. Good. Now, I'll go and get rid of Master Lloyd and his No, friend. don't do that, sir. Give us a few minutes, and we'll get that mine in working order again. What? We'll give them their bang. Do you mean that? Yes, sir. All right. Come on, Brady. As you were, the ambulance crew. We don't need you. Fall out. Oh, Barry, I was so scared. So was I. Well, Barry, do you want me anymore? Peter, are you still here? Come on. Let's get back to work, huh? Well, Peter, oh. thanks for everything. I hope you're never sorry we dug him. Thank you. Out.